Welcome back, everybody, to another installment of Tech TLDR. Today, we are talking about SpaceX's Dragon finally docking with the ISS. We have really good news regarding the Starship SN15 static fire and launch. I have a date for you guys. We're going to talk about that. We're also going to be talking about the ULA launch happening later today. So if you want to know everything, be sure to stick the entire episode. And as always, drop a like on the video. Let's get into this. So first, here we have SpaceX tweeting this photo of the ISS. And for the first time, there are two Crew Dragons attached to the space station spacex successfully attached their recent dragon crew to the iss bringing four more astronauts onto the iss and they're going to be there for about six months until they come back to the earth and here is a photo of all of those people on the iss right now it's looking packed it's like a big old cookout in outer space you gotta love it though that's the future right there Hopefully one day you and your family can have that same photo on possibly the Axiom space station. Who knows? Who knows what space stations will exist 10 years from now. Oh, another good thing I forgot to mention, Perseverance got this photo of the Ingenuity doing its third flight. It went a distance of 164 feet or 50 meters down a path. That's It hasn't done that yet. This is the first time where it's flown horizontally. We've only seen an actual vertical uh, increase so far in a rotation. This is the first time that Ingenuity has flown on a horizontal path and at quite a good distance to 150 meters. That's nothing to scoff at for something that's never done this before. That's quite a good distance. So I'm excited to see if it's already making this much progression in just a couple weeks. Who knows a month from now, the aerial views that we could really start to see from Mars and the footage that it's going to start sending back. This is really exciting stuff. Now, we got to start talking about Starship SN15, SpaceX's big boy coming up with all the updates. So here we have a photo from Mary Boca Chigagal of the Starship SN15 at its launch pad. The SN16 has got its nose cone, and that is currently being built. So this next Starship in line isn't too far behind the SN15. So the SN15 it has yet to do a static fire test. It was supposed to do one pretty much all of last week. There were multiple closures. However, that whole week they were just transporting different objects around the Boca Chica area and there were never a static fire. So now we do have though information that the SN15 static fire, there's a road closure for today. And I think either today or tomorrow is highly likely that we will see a static fire test. Reason being, if we look with the FAA's website, we can see here that they have a closure. They want to do SpaceX Starship. Right here, you can see in the report, SpaceX Starship Boca Chica launch rescheduled for 4-28-2021, meaning that they want to launch the Starship. They have clearance and paperwork for the Starship for this Wednesday, April 28th. We can hopefully see a static, or not a static fire, an actual launch of the SN15. So it's very likely that today or tomorrow, if they're going to do a launch on Wednesday for the Starship, the SN15, we're gonna have to see that static fire very, very soon. So guys, I'm hopeful that today we will be seeing a static fire. And when I update you guys next episode, we're gonna be talking about the actual launch, not a static fire closure. Oh, and the ULA launch happening today. ULA, United Launch Alliance, we don't really talk about them much. They're just, you know, kind of bland. Uh, but they're launching their Delta IV Heavy today for launching two U.S. spy satellites into orbit. This is a gigantic beast of a rocket. I'm really surprised that they went with these rockets instead of SpaceX's smaller Falcon 9 booster. But I guess, you know, you, you got to diversify and have different vendors, different people launching your satellites. Uh, however, ULA, like I said, we don't talk about them much. They're a mix between Boeing and Lockheed Martin, which is, I, I mean, they're not bad companies. They're just not very exciting either. We don't really see much from them in the space realm that's really you know, groundbreaking. You know, they're not trying to get to Mars, but they're still a company that is relevant and that we do have to talk about because they do projects that are going to be part of Artemis and other ventures in the future. Now, this launch is happening today around 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. They're launching from California. As of right now, the weather conditions are looking good for this launch to happen. However, tomorrow may be the actual launch date as they also have that closure as well. That's all I have for you guys in today's episode. Wasn't much to talk about. Not too much happening these past couple days. However, I wanted to keep you guys updated regardless. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Drop a like and have a good one.